couple of years. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome, sir. All righty. Oh, you okay? Uh, lift with your legs. There you go. Easy. Bye-bye now. <laughs> I'm gonna fix him. I'm gonna fix him good. Hmm. You're gonna fix him good, huh? You <laughs> betcha, Daddy. I'm gonna fix him if it's the last thing I do. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, honey, I think I have a book that's gonna help you work through this little problem of yours. <laughs> oh, oh, wait right here. But, 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 but. Hope I didn't keep you waiting. Oh, no. Oh, good, good, good. Okay, uh, this book is called I'll Fix Anthony, and it's written by Judith E. Orst, and the pictures are by Arnold Lobel. My brother Anthony can read books now, but he won't read any books to me. He plays checkers with Bruce from his school. But when I want to play, he says, Go away or I'll clobber you. Mother says, deep down in his heart, Anthony loves me. Anthony says, deep down in his heart, he thinks I sting. You stink! Mother says, deep, deep down in his heart, for he doesn't even know it. Anthony loves me. Anthony says, deep, deep down in his heart, he still thinks I stink. When I'm six, I'll fix Anthony. When I'm six, a dog will follow me home, and she'll beg for me and roll over and lick my face. If Anthony tries to pet her, she'll give him a bite. When I'm six, we'll have a skipping contest, and I'll skip faster. Then we'll have a jumping contest, and I'll jump higher. Then we'll do eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Anthony will be O-U-T. He'll be very M-A-D. When I'm six, I'll know how to sharpen pencils. Here's how you do it, Anthony, I'll say. When I'm six, I'll be tall, and Anthony will be short, because I'll eat things like carrots and potatoes, and he'll eat things like jelly beans and root beer. I'll put his red sneakers on the top shelf, and if he stands on a chair, he still won't be able to reach them. He'll tell me, Get down my sneakers! And I'll tell him, Say please! And if he doesn't say please, he can't have his sneakers for a hundred years. When I'm six, we'll have a race. And I'll be at the corner when Anthony hasn't even passed the fire plug. The next time, I'll give him a head start. But it won't help. I win again! When I'm six, friends will call me on the telephone. No one will call Anthony. I'll sleep at Charlie's house and Eddie's and Diana's, but Anthony will always sleep at home. See you later, Anthony, I'll tell him. When I'm six, I'll help people carry their groceries from the supermarket, and they'll say, my, you're strong. I don't think Anthony will be strong enough. When I'm six, I'll be able to tell left and right, but Anthony will be all mixed up. I'll be able to tell time, but Anthony will be all mixed up. I'll be able to tell my street and my city and sometimes my zip code, but Anthony will be all mixed up. If he ever gets lost, I guess I'll have to go find him. When I'm six, Anthony will still be falling off his bike. I'll ride by with no hands. Still falling off that bike? I'll ask Anthony. When I'm six, I'll let Dr. Ross look down my throat with a stick. If he has to give me a shot, I won't even holler. Try to be brave like your brother, Dr. Ross will tell Anthony. No, no, but no. Anthony won't. Leave me alone. When I'm six, my teeth will fall out, and I'll put them under the bed. 
and the Tooth Fairy will take them away and leave dimes. Anthony's teeth won't fall out. He'll wiggle and wiggle them, but they won't fall out. I might sell him one of my teeth, Please. but I might not. When I'm six, I'll go bingo. bingo all the time. Anthony won't even go bingo once. I'll win all the tic-tac-toes if I'm X, and I'll win them all if I'm O. Too bad, Anthony, I'll say. <sighs> Anthony is chasing me out of the playroom. He says I stink. He says he's going to coddle me. I have to run now, but I won't have to run when I'm six. When I'm six, I'll fix Anthony. <laughs> so, you see, honey, I know you want to fix Lionel, but... Fix Lionel? No, I don't want to fix Lionel. I want to fix Herman. <clears throat> Herman? But who, who's Herman? My jack-in-the-box. Your jack-in-the-box? Yeah, wait here. I'll oh. show you. <clears throat> There it is. This is my jack-in-the-box, Herman. Well, technically, he's a Herman in the box. Mm -hmm. And he's broken. He won't pop up. And I need to fix him. Oh, you meant the other meaning of fix. The mm -hmm. other meaning? Yeah, as in to make something work. Not the meaning in the book, as in to get back at, to get revenge on. Fix <laughs> can mean that, too? Yeah! Oh. <laughs> hey, Leona, I see you're still trying to fix that silly Herman in a box. Oh, oh he's not silly! <laughs> yes, he is. <laughs> Lionel, hmm? you know, when I'm six, you won't think everything I do is silly. I won't? No, when I'm six, a, a dog will follow me home and she'll beg for me and she'll roll over and lick my face. And if you try to pet her, she'll bite you. <coughs> huh? Mm -hmm. Daddy, can you help me fix Herman? Um, uh, sure, honey. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I, uh... uh oh, boy. <clears throat> uh, Dad? Hmm? Dad, uh... <clears throat> what just happened here? Uh, I think you better read that, son. I'll fix Anthony. <laughs> fix. X. X. Six. Sax. Fax. Fox. 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 And now it's time for... Dwayne's Word! Dwayne's Word! Yeah. Excellent! Dwayne here today at Blend Mart, where two brave knights in armor with shopping carts will charge together at high speed, make a word, and go shopping. Competing today, we have Sir B. <laughs> On your right, Sir Ox. Ox. <laughs> Land on, shopping dudes. B Ox. B Ox. B Ox. 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 Excellent. That's Gawain's word for today. And this is Gawain saying, I expect to see you next time on Gawain's word. Gawain's word. Hmm. Oh. F f fix. 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 Um. Six. 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 Fix six. Thank you very much. <laughs> Lunch with Georgie Porgy. Um, Putting and pie. Perfect stuff. Vegetarianized. Ah, uh, hello. <laughs> uh, 
I'm Reginald Livingston Seagull, and I have a very short poem to read for you. Now, it's called X, and it's written by Margaret and John Travers Moore. Hit it, boys. What words begin with X? Very few. X-ray and xylophone will do. <laughs> Very few will do. <laughs> well, I did say it was short. Anyway, Georgie, I said, put that spoon down. Here are some words with the letter X in them. Sax. Fox. Six. Texas. Tuxedo. Welcome, Leona. <laughs> you know, your Herman in the box reminds me of a book that's got an ox in a box. An ox in the box? <laughs> yep, and it's right over there. And now, fun with Chicken Jane. Today, Chicken Jane and the Ox in the Box. Dot, look, see the ox. There is an ox sitting in the box. <laughs> yes, Scott, yes. See the ox playing the sax in the box. <laughs> look, Dot, look. See Chicken Jane write the letters E, X, I, T. X, it. <laughs> Exit! Exit, Scott! Exit! Look, Scott, look! Chicken Jane is in the sacks. Yes, Dot, yes! We are not in the sacks. Thank you, Chicken Jane! <laughs> Who's gonna fix Chicken Jane, Daddy? Oh, honey, it's just a book. She wasn't really hurt. <coughs> hey, I just read that book, I'll Fix Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> I only have one thing to say to you, Leona. When you're six, I'll be nine. La, 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 la. <gasps> oh, brothers. <sighs> <gasps> Stay tuned, because coming right up are more lions, a really cool grandmother, and a girl with three names. Jamaica Louise James. So, Herman, watch this. I can pop up, too. Surprise! <laughs> Were you scared? Huh? Leona! Oh. <laughs> we got a new book in the library that I think you're gonna like! Oh. <laughs> well, gee, Daddy, that's uh, that's great. Mm -hmm. But 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 I'm playing with my Herman in the box. Oh. Well, well uh, I could read the book to you and Herman. No, oh, Daddy, Herman's very particular about what he likes to read. Oh. Well, uh, uh, I'm sure Herman would like this book. L look, look, look here, Herman. It's called Jamaica Louise James. And the author is Amy Hest, and the illustrations are by Sheila White Sampton. And... And what? Mm -hmm, let's see here. And the story has something in it, honey, that I know Herman is gonna like. <laughs> uh, you see that big word there on the top of this page? Yeah? That's the word surprise. <gasps> surprise? Herman loves surprises. Oh, read it, Daddy. Read it, read it, read it. Read it. <laughs> okay, let's read it. Okay. Okay, here we go. I was the one with the cool idea. It happened last winter, and the mirror put my name on a golden plaque. It's down in the subway station at 86th and Main. 
You can see it if you go there. That's me. You better believe it. Want to hear my big idea? I'll tell you, but you've got to listen to the whole story, not just a part of it. Mama says my stories go on and on. Whenever I'm just at the beginning of one, she tells me, Get to the point, Jamaica. Or, Snap to it, baby. But I like lacing up the details, this way and that. This story begins with me. I have a big artist pad with 100 big pages and five colored pencils with perfect skinny points. Sometimes I set myself up on the top step of our building where everyone can see me. Everything I see is something I want to draw. Mama and Grammy and I cuddle on the couch while the city quiets down. I show them every picture every night. Sometimes I tell a story as I go. Sometimes they ask a question like, why does the man's coat have triangle pockets? Other times we don't say a word. Now look at me on birthday number eight. Grammy and Mama dance around my bed. Open your present! They shout. We can't wait another minute! Know what they did? They bought me a real paint set with eight little tubes of color and two paint brushes. Paint sets cost a lot, I worry. My, my, my! They say. Are you going to spend birthday number eight worrying when you can be doing something wonderful such as painting the world? So that's when I get my big idea. Now this part of the story tells about my Grammy, who leaves for work when it is still dark. Sometimes I wake up halfway when she slides out of bed. In winter, she gets all layered, starting with the long underwear layer. She and Mama whisper in the kitchen. They drink that strong black coffee. Grammy scoops up her brown lunch bag and goes outside. I'm scared in the night. Not Grammy. At 86th and Main, she goes down and down into the subway station. All day long, people line up at Grammy's token booth. They give her a dollar or four quarters, and she slides a token into their hand. Then they rush off to catch the train. What's a subway, Daddy? Oh, it's a, it's a train that runs underground in the city. Uh, uh, and what's, this, what's a token? Uh, a token looks like money, and people use it to pay for their subway rides. Oh. And, and when are we going to get to the surprise? Uh, right away, honey. Oh, okay. <laughs> now, I like subways because the seats are hot pink and because they go very fast. But I don't like subway stations, especially the one at 86th and Main. There are too many steep steps, 56, and too many grown-ups who all look mad. The walls are old tile walls without any color. When Grammy comes home, she sews and talks about the people she sees, like Green Hat Lady or Gentleman with the Red Bow Tie. Mama reads and hums, but I paint, blending all those colors until they look just right. Every day, I add a picture to my collection, and every day, I think about my cool idea. At last, it's the morning of Grammy's birthday. Mama and I get up early. We get all layered and sneak outside. Mama holds my hand. I am scared but also very excited. We swish along in our boots in the dark in the snow. At 86th and Main, we go down and down 56 steep steps. We don't buy a token at the token booth. We don't take a ride on the subway. What we do is hang a painting on the old tile wall. Then another, and another, and one more. Before you know it, 
that station is all filled up with color. Surprise! We shout when Grammy comes clumping down the steps. She looks all around that station. Jamaica Louise James. She calls. Come right here so I can give you a big hug, baby. So now you know the whole story. Everyone sure is in love with my subway station. You'd be surprised. People are talking to each other. Some even smile. That looks like me, says a lady in a green hat to a gentleman with a red bow tie. Then Grammy tells everyone about Jamaica Louise James, age eight. That's me. You better believe it. End. <laughs> oh, that was a great story, Daddy. Yeah. And it gives me a great idea. Oh, boy. It does. Mm -hmm. What kind of... What, honey? <laughs> Surprise! These are oh. all my drawings. <laughs> I put them all over the library, just like Jamaica Louise James. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> all, all over the library, indeed! <laughs> wow! Aw, don't you just love your little sister, Lionel? <laughs> mm, I couldn't hear what you were saying. I have drawings on my ears. Ah! <laughs> Draw. A-W-R. A-W. Straw. Shawl. Saw. Oh. <laughs> Saw. 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 Hello, Reginald Livingston Siegel here with a poem for you. Rush Dance, written by Robin Bernard. Hmm, let's watch. A dot, a blot, a smidge, a smear, and just a little squiggle here. A dab. A dash, a splish, a splat. That's how Patrick paints a cat. A W R draw. Leona, Leona, there's a new cliffhanger book in the library. Cliffhanger? No way! I'm drawing. A uh, drawing? <laughs> but it's a cliffhanger book, and it's right. Over there! Flying off the shelf once again, it's the continuing daring and dangling adventures of... Cliffhanger! Today's adventure, number 7,616, Cliffhanger and the Awfully Big Seesaw. Cliffhanger, hanging from a cliff, and that's why he's called Cliffhanger. Excuse me. Excuse me! We find Cliffhanger where we left him last. Hanging from a cliff. Can't hold on much longer. Suddenly, Cliff notices an enormous seesaw on the lawn below his cliff. Gee, that's an awfully big seesaw. Quickly, Cliff reaches into his backpack and withdraws his trusty survival manual. Using his awe-inspiring decoding skills, Cliff begins to read. If you see an awfully big seesaw on the lawn below your cliff, jump on. Is a new life dawning for Cliffhanger? A life beyond his cliff? Awesome! C 
seesaw. Aw, oh, shucks. Ever. Well, I was busy trying something more important. <laughs> what could possibly be more important than a... Huh? <laughs> what? Yeah. Leona, mm -hmm. you drew a picture of Cliffhanger. Yeah. Well, why? Because I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Information Hen here. Visit the Between the Lions website for lots of fun games, exciting stories, catchy songs, and things to print. Plus, great resources for parents, teachers, and information hens. PBSKids.org. If you get a child wild about reading, you get a child wild about learning. Be a designated reader. Rawr! That's me being wild about reading. Rawr! That's me being wild about being a designated reader. Cool. Once upon a time. <laughs>